Okay, this is not a bat. It's the blue morpho butterfly, but it does have a connection to this bat. The blue morpho lays its eggs on the leaves of the macuna vine, which has these spiny fruits whose hairs can drive you crazy, so don't touch them. The butterfly caterpillars eat the leaves, while the green flowers are pollinated by nectar bats. The Underwood's long-nosed nectar bat feeds on the nectar and pollen, and while doing this, pollinates the vine. Nectar bats do have competition, like from this mouse opossum. They too probably pollinate the plant. Of course, the bat can visit a lot more flowers than the mouse opossum can in the same amount of time. A hummingbird feeder has the quantity of hundreds of flowers. Underwood's long-tongued bat has long whiskers on a pointed nose, small ears, the wing attaches to its ankle, and the back fur is tri-colored. Tough to see, agree. Sugar is cheap, so leave your hummingbird feeders out at night.